I remember a few weeks ago, Roblox had an outage for about three days. It was over the weekend. I remember because my, my kids could not connect, they could not play, and they could not spend my money to buy Robux, and they were very frustrated. I'm sure the company was frustrated too, because I believe they estimate their losses for those three days at about 15 million. And certainly their stock went down. Now, I haven't lost 15 million, but I am completely frustrated today. So first of all, uh, let me preface this by saying this has nothing to do with uh, the Helium Network. The Helium Network is doing great today. Uh, and I know many of you have been frustrated in the last couple of days with the issues that have happened. And when things go down and you see your rewards flatline, yes, it is absolutely frustrating. And at least you can know that people are working on the network to resolve it. For me, this is a little bit different. So as many of you know, I have six hotspots, uh, six helium hotspot miners, one of them being in my house, and that one is working great. But the ones that everyone else's house are not and it appears that they are not because of xfinity that's right xfinity now i've had four houses that have had problems with xfinity and a fifth i still don't know what's going on and i'll tell you about the fifth that the last one so uh i received a report uh yesterday in the morning that my tenants uh, their Xfinity uh, internet was out. And I got worried. Oh no, that means I'm not going to be making any money from them that day. And we went back and forth hoping it would just be fixed, that there was an outage. But by the end of the day, yes, uh, we had to call somebody, set an appointment, and hopefully they will be out there Sunday and fix the problem. But that means three days that I will have no profits from that house. And sure enough, doing some checking, uh, my sister-in-law, her Xfinity is also out. So she had to wait till she got home that evening from work. She called them up. She set an appointment and they will be out there Sunday to fix that one. So yay. But still, very frustrating. That's another three days of a hotspot that will give me no profits. Um, then uh, I talked to my host, the only person that is hosting a hotspot, which I am paying. And everything seemed okay yesterday around noon. Uh, but uh, this morning, I noticed that the uh, smart plug that I have in their house was offline. And I went and checked uh, checked them on uh, explorer.helium.com. And yes, it was flatlined. And I uh, talked to them. They said, oh, well, it was it was down for a while, but they called them and it was back up again and everything is fine. And I'm sitting here thinking, well, if it's fine, why is my plug offline? So they assured me everything was working and I told them, well, it doesn't seem like it's working. And then just a few minutes later, they told me, yeah, things are not working. They're on the phone with Xfinity. So another Xfinity. And I'm kind of wondering, is there an outage going on that I just don't know about? Now, I don't have Xfinity at my house. I have CenturyLink. We got fiber optic. But um, yeah, uh, this has me really worried. So a fourth hotspot was at my friend's house downtown. He only makes two or four dollars a day. So don't really worry about that hotspot. But it had flatlined too. And I had just kind of assumed that he had left town with it. He was going to go over to Grand Junction to try testing it out, see if he could get more rewards at his mother's house. Uh, but I texted him and no, he hadn't left. He's still at home. Now, luckily, uh, during the time that I found out that my host uh, had had problems, I actually, just to make sure that the, the system was working, I uh, hit the button and uh, turned off the power to his hotspot and then waited 30 seconds and turned it back on again. And that must have done something because when I checked his hotspot on uh, explorer.helium.com, it said that it had been off for seven hours and was now sinking. So yay, it's sinking. At least I know hopefully 
by tomorrow, it will be getting me rewards. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. Um, a lot of problems because Xfinity is out. There were issues in a zip code, so it said, but then when I called Xfinity, they said there were no issues anywhere. They don't know what I was talking about. Who am I supposed to listen to? It's not like I trust Xfinity, period. Um, okay, so the last house, the last house I want to mention. Um, this last house uh, is a rental house of mine, and I had assumed that it was a problem with uh, the plug. I, I figured uh, it is connected to their kitchen. Sometimes they use kitchen appliances that use a lot of power, and they trip that circuit breaker, and I just need to go and reset it. But that wasn't it. I went out there. I checked it. I, I couldn't tell if it was working. I bought some Christmas lights and plugged it in just to make sure the lights came on. So I knew that the power was flowing. Um, so what's the problem? I don't know. The only thing I'm guessing is I noticed that while I was there, the Wi-Fi usually comes on my phone. And while it said uh, or listed that their Wi-Fi was there, I never saw the Wi-Fi icon come on, so I don't think their Wi-Fi was working. So I asked them to reset it. Who knows when that's going to happen? I'm just crossing my fingers. That's the issue. But it's so weird that it would also happen around the same time. It happened actually last night around 10 o'clock. So at that point, I wasn't going to go and try to reset the circuit breakers at their house. But um, yeah. Why would it happen then? Why Why is everybody's internet having issues? Um, I would love to know if there are some reasons related to helium. I hope there wouldn't be. I'm not saying there are, but it's very frustrating. Just like uh, what was happening with uh, with the block that was that was stuck. Now, with that block that was stuck, uh, I, I saw those problems occur on my rack, and I saw those problems occur on my sense caps, and as soon as the update occurred, it, it fixed that problem and everything moved forward, so it was only a couple hours that we were out. Uh, I know many people are very concerned about their Bobcat miners, uh, and hopefully, as they said, once validators are really well implemented and everybody can move to light miners this won't be an issue of having one gigabyte but i also found out that bobcat uh has shipped pretty much everything i'm gonna say from september on with two gigabytes of ram so yay anybody who's still waiting for their miner or just received their miners probably has two gigabytes and you don't need to worry so that makes me happy on my side but I have to say, for any of you who are trying to run Helium as a business, these are the kinds of things that may come up. And you may find days when your profits are flatlined and you just got to roll with the punches. I'm trying right now. I'm very frustrated, but I'm trying right now. Because with Helium, you are dealing with other people's houses, especially as a business. People you don't know who may not want you ever to come back to their house and, you know, if problems occur in there, the best thing you can hope you can do is have a uh, smart plug that you can just do a hard reset and hope that fixes the problem. Um, and that's why sometimes I just wish I had everything in my house that I could control. So just so any of you are interested, uh, yes, I do 3D printing. And, uh, you know, when you're at home and you have all these 3D printers... You can control everything. You're controlling your supply. You're controlling how much you're utilizing. Uh, you're controlling what you're printing. And everything is managed in your house. And it's so much easier that way. Um, that's why I also thought about doing helium mining in my house. Maybe not GPU mining. Um, but, uh, you know, if I could do mining in my house, at least that's all controllable here. So something to think about for all of you, uh, when things are out of your control, especially related to a business you're trying to run, um, you got to roll with the punches and you got to accept that there will be days where you won't make any money like today and probably tomorrow, except for the one hotspot in my house. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please 
well, subscribe, and like this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, hey, happy mining.